Want to learn about the fascinating world of private student loans? Okay, so maybe it's really not that fascinating, but it's important information that you need to know. Hi, this is Travis with Modern Homemakers. Um, we're talking about student loans today. And um, you know what I want to do, first of all, is just explain some of the different types of student loans out there. Uh, because it's, it's, it's really confusing. You know, if you're a college student, you know, student loans have been the last thing on your mind. You've just been focused on your studies. Maybe you've been focused on uh, chasing girls. I don't know. I don't know what, <laughs> what, what you've been up to while you've been in college. But you know, student loans has probably not been at the top of your list of what you've been thinking about. And so when you get out of college, um, you know, you're going to start getting bills in the mail for these different loans. And you might not even know who you owe money to. You know, you're like, who, who are these people? Why, you know, why, why are they asking for money? And, you know, if, you, if you're like a lot, of student, a lot of students in college, when you meet with a financial aid advisor, you're probably not paying a ton of attention to the paperwork that they give to you. You're probably just saying, all right, just give it to me. I want to sign it because I want to go to school, you know, and, and that's that. And you've got this big wad of paperwork at home in a folder somewhere. Um, but some things that you need to know, because if you've already got student loans, and that's that's who this video is addressed to, is those who, you know, for you, it's, it's too late. You've already gotten student loans. In the last video, we talked about those who have not taken out student loans and why you should avoid them. But now we're talking to those who, who already have the student loans, okay? You're stuck with them. What do we do? You know, if you're going to pay off your debt, you have to have a plan. You have to understand what kind of debt you have. Who do you owe money to? How much money do you owe? What are the terms and conditions of these debts? So we want to get all that stuff figured out. So the first thing you need to understand is there are two main types of student loans. There are private student loans and there are federal student loans. I'm going to mainly talk about private loans today. Um, federal student loans, those are basically government loans, and there, there are different types of government loans out there, and there's a lot of information that I want to share with you to, to help you understand what your options are. But private loans are basically any loans that are not federal. Okay. Now, it's, it's confusing because a lot of your federal student loans are serviced by a third party, which happens to be a private lender. Okay. Uh, for example, Sally Mae is a big private lender. Uh, if you go to college, you might have a Sally Mae private loan that you owe to Sally Mae, and you might also have a U.S. Department of Education loan that you owe to the government that is being serviced by Sally Mae. And you know, when you log into your Sally Mae account, it might just show all these loans lumped in together, and you might just assume that these are all Sally Mae loans. But really, you've got federal and private loans that are kind of all mixed together. So, you know, why is this important? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll get into why um, a little bit later when we talk about the federal loans, because you really need to know the difference, because they have completely different uh, terms and conditions, different interest rates, and, and all that kind of stuff. Right now, we're going to talk about private loans. Okay? So, private student loans uh, usually do not have uh, a lot of the options that federal loans have as far as repayment. Um, with federal loans, you've got some different repayment plans you can choose from and stuff like that. Usually, with private loans, you're pretty much just, you know, whatever they give you is you get what you get, okay? Um, a lot of times with private loans, you'll have a uh, usually higher interest rate than you did on your federal loans. Um, you probably have a variable interest rate, which means that your interest rate is, is going to tend to fluctuate. Um, so you might start off with one interest rate, and then later on that interest rate might go up. Surprise! Um, this is why private loans are really particularly um, troublesome. You know, you really you really want to avoid them if you've never taken one out. And, and usually schools, you know, if you go to college and you meet with the financial aid, with the financial aid advisor, um, they're not going to just give you a private loan right off the bat unless they can get all the federal loans that they can first because federal loans are the the, the lesser evil so to speak um, but if your federal loans are not enough to cover the cost of your education because you're going to a really expensive school or something like that um, you probably will end up with some private loans as well and that's why I'm gonna suggest to you that if you have private loans you want to figure out which ones you have okay who do you owe 
what's the interest rate, um, what's the minimum monthly payment on those loans, and um, chances are you probably don't owe as much in private loans as you do in federal loans because, like I said, the uh, you know the college is going to try to get all the federal loans that they can first before they start using private loans. And and you can you can borrow a lot in federal loans. You know it's usually just you know if you've maxed out, you've gotten all the federal loans you can get. You know then you would you would get a private loan. But in a debt payoff plan, you're probably going to want to try to try to pay off your private loans first. You know you want to come up with a plan where you pay the debts off, and you're going to pay them off in a particular order. And we'll talk about this later when we get into the debt snowball. But you're going to pay your smallest debts first. So this is why you want to pay your private loans off first. You want to get those out of the way before you finish paying off your federal loans. In the next video, we're going to talk about federal loans and just go over more of the differences between federal loans and private loans. But for right now, the most important thing you need to know is you want to pay off your private loans first. All right, we'll see you next time.